Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to show you how the Zebra BI tables visual work in more detail. But before you get started, if this is the first time that you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss anything. So now, no more talking and let's do this. Here we are in Power BI Desktop. Real quick, before we get started, we're gonna be looking into five different topics, comparison tables, hierarchies in tables, top end plus others, add more measures to the table, and also we're gonna customize this visual. So this is gonna be fun, guys, and let's do this. Comparison tables. So the first thing that you're gonna do here is to import this visual. So you can see right here, get more visuals, hit this option and select get more visuals. Once you're here, go to the search bar and type Zebra VI. There it is, right? So we have three different types of visuals. We have VI tables, VI charts, and also VI cards. You can import everything, but for now, we're gonna be focusing on Zebra VI tables. I'm not gonna do this because I already have this in my Power BI report. So I'm gonna close this. Here they are, right? How do we compare tables with this visual? It's quite straightforward, my friends. Go to the visual here. There it is. Drag this into this section. And then you are ready to start playing with the numbers. You need to have a license if you wanna have full advantage of this visual but you can also have the trial version. So let's create a comparison real quick. So let's go to dates here and let's select year. Drag this into category. So you can see the changes here right away. So the next thing you wanna do here is go to measures, go to profits here and drag profits into values. The next step here is to drag profits previous year into previous year. There you go. So that looks so much better, right? Drag this to the right. So the cool thing about this visual is that this is very dynamic. You can narrow this option here if you want and automatically customize this, the view. So this is really, really cool. Another cool thing about this feature is that we, we see two different views. So the first view is more visual. You have charts here, right? And then the next view, you can see just the numbers there to compare. So we can also customize this a little bit better. I know we have a customized topic at the end, but let me do this real quick. I'm gonna increase the font size here. So go to data labels, and then we're gonna pick 14, okay? There it is. Another cool thing here is that you can sort any field, right? Any column. So here, for example, if you want to do that, just hit the option. We're going to select actual values here. Click on there. One more. Sort ascending. And then there's also a custom sort. So once you have there, because this is year over year, you want to sort by year here, right? So we can do that. In this option here again, ascending. And then right here, sort by year. There it is. So now you can see 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Now let's move on to the next point, hierarchical tables. What I'm gonna do here is we're gonna add more rows and also more columns to have hierarchies, right? So let's select the visual here real quick. And what I'm gonna do next here is the following. So let's go to territory here, and then let's select sales territory country and drag it into category. Check this out. See it right there? If you expand this, you can see countries here. 2018, very similar. Right click, collapse entire field, boom go back to the initial state. So we can also add hierarchies for columns. So let's do this real quick. Select the visual, and then 
what we're gonna do next is the following so we're gonna go to territory here and then drag it into this visual region check this out so now you can see all the regions right Australia Canada Central Germany we can also add fiscal quarter okay so let's do that check this out so it's loading so what is the message here that I want to convey you can add more rows and columns based on your needs right here for example another cool thing is that you can also collapse all groups right there you go see so you can keep playing you can hide quarters for example right and also you can do the same thing for rows check this out so it is quite dynamic right 2018 here right click for example and also you can collapse the entire field again like I said before this is a dynamic visual and you can keep playing with it if we take a look at the other view there it is this view is more numeric so you can see more of the numbers here so there you have it my friends so now let's move on to the next topic top end plus others so another cool thing that this visual has is the option top end and also others check this out here for example we have countries right they are under year so let's say that I want to have just the top three countries by quarter right that's what I have here so how do we do this this is quite straightforward my friends right click again and then there is an option here called top bottom end hit this option and then you need to select the field that you want to apply this change for this particular case we are interested in country then select top end let's say that we care about the top three top three hit ok let's see what happens boom we have here the top three countries australia united kingdom united states for 2017 and then we also have the same for the other years right so the cool thing about this feature is that you see another field here another row called others so this row basically summarizes the other or the remaining countries for this particular case right if you don't want this let's say hey i made a mistake i actually need the top four check this out increase to top four boom we have another country here you can also do the opposite thing right hey instead of top four i need top two so you can do that as well check this out check this out top two and then we have another pro here for others of course there you have it now let's move on to the other feature called add more measures so another cool feature that this visual has is to add more measures to the table so how do we do this it's quite straightforward as well select the visual and then go to the measures where you measure at a store and for this particular case i have a table called that's measures so let's say that i want to have also freight so we can do that check this out total freight drag this into values so now you will see a new column called total freight you can also add more measures so you can have up to 20 measures here okay so check this out total orders we can do the same thing you can do it for product cost as well turn this into here for sales so as you can see here what I'm doing is adding more measures and the, the visual automatically is changing so the idea here is that you can visualize this information better but let's drag this to the right so we can have more space so the visual looks so much better so another cool feature here is that you can also customize these new measures right so let's say that I want to have this also as part of a chart type 
we can do that as well for orders the same thing check this out but like i said this is up to you up to your business needs and also we can explore the next view there you have it we have here the numeric values now let's move on to the final point customization so we can do many things with this vision okay we can hide columns if we want we can rearrange columns as well check this out so let's hide the previous year for example click on this option and there's an option called hide column and we hide just for q1 if you hit this option again it gives you the option right hide just from q2 or from all groups if you can do for all groups you can do that as well check this out so another cool thing is that you can rearrange columns here as well check this out drag this to the left boom so now we have relative variance here in the middle you can also rename headers here check this out i can call this actuals because these are actuals right in this option actuals changes for everything you can also change the visual let's say i don't like this type of visual what you can do is hit this option and then maybe this option right here right you can do that as well like i said it's up to you it's up to your business needs okay so another cool feature here is that you can add totals or subtotals check this out show grand total so let's hit this option and then at the end you will see totals right so isn't this awesome my friends another cool feature is that you can change the colors if you want check this out select the visual always so go to this option here format your visual and then hit design there are many options here zebra bi light for example dr hitchet power bi different colors there color blind and also you can customize this right so here for example if for positive i prefer blue i just select blue and this changes right so there you have it guys what do you think this is a very interactive visual, highly recommended. Like I said, I already started playing with this visual and I couldn't stop because there are so many features to explore. Thank you very much for your time. If you found this tutorial helpful as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. Thank you guys and see you next time.